I hope you're all well. Welcome back to another video. Today is actually Thursday and I am now currently 35 weeks pregnant. So we've got about five weeks to go. We are now at 10 past 11. So we're about to make a surprise little picnic lunch for Will because he's been doing a course this week. So um, we've decided we're gonna have a little tea party and this is inspired by the lovely Kate McCabe because I saw that they've been having some in their little summer house which is really adorable so i've decided today that that is what we're going to be having and he is going to be out in half an hour so we literally have that amount of time to set the table make it nice and prepare the food are you ready kids yeah! <laughs> marley actually told will this morning a surprise he said we're having a picnic and will come upstairs and was like are we having a picnic and i was like no i don't know where he's got that from but um, we are, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, 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 we tricked daddy, didn't we? We tricked him, didn't we? Yeah. So yeah, let's get started, guys. Um, so we've got Ava Lily doing the washing up because we're gonna use these little glasses with some straws to put our apple juice in. And then we've got Marley over here helping with the sandwiches. So we're gonna make some ham, some jam, some tuna and some chicken. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we're gonna pop them all on here. And we're gonna put some crisps in here. You better turn up. You better be there when I shake. Watch me rocking if I can't stop. So we've just set everything up. I've just realized some of my daffodils are died, but um, we've got some little strawberries and chocolate, some crisps, lots of sandwiches, mm. some salad bits. Our apple juice is here. Daddy's got a cup of tea. And we're all ready and set up to have our little dinner party. Our little, no, not dinner party. What is that? Tea party. Tea party. Oh, picnic. Yay. It's a surprise. Oh, wow. We've been waiting for you for ages to really come out. You really know you've done all this. <laughs> I'm so like not you, You've my... ruined our sandwiches. Oh my God, this is actually sick. Hard. Well, I need to put this on a story. My daddy, story. Look, look, look. We did do a story, but we blocked you from it. Are you I'm happy? happy? No. I'm well happy. <laughs> I want to eat. This is, like, this is like a proper course. You know when you do a course? Oh, yeah, then you go and have your like, lunch, you know, don't you? This is what it reminds me of. Like, no. Yeah. Watch the tea, Marley. Yeah. Are you enjoying your dinner? Mm. Marley, are you I'll enjoying five yours? Stars, babe. Five stars. Oh, damn. Oh, mm. you like it, Lil? I can't wait to try them. Are you enjoying your cup of tea? Yeah. Mm hmm. You now can have some strawberries and chocolate, Marley? You can dip it in the chocolate, mate, if you want. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Look, oh, oh, careful with the crisps. <laughs> oh, no, quickly eat it. No, don't do that. Oh, yummy. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> good morning everyone i hope you're all doing well it is saturday today and i'm in the boys room because we have a few baby bits arrived so i really wanted to share them with you all i have a few gifted things from instagram and my baby seat has arrived which my mum and dad bought us and um what else arrived the car seat arrived as well i'll show you everything i'm also gonna today put together our snooze pod which goes next to the bed because i'm 35 weeks now and um yeah it's getting near so we're just getting the last bits prepared and i'm gonna pop a few things in my hospital bag so i thought this would be like a nice vlog to do all the baby bits together and I've also bought some new bits for the bedroom to try and get these bits tied up and finished so we can move on to downstairs we really want to give it a freshen up before the baby comes and yeah that's basically the plans for today first of all i will show you um the new bits that i've been sent and some of the new bits that i've bought in the bedroom so first of all i'm going to start with the changing area here because i've finally found a changer mat and i absolutely love the design so much like it's 
it just goes perfectly and this is from a brand on instagram called mini mason and they kindly gifted this to me so honestly i just want to say a massive thank you because it is perfect i looked at so many different changing mats and i just didn't know which design would go in this room but i think this one just goes so lovely and it's one of the anti roll ones which i also really wanted so i absolutely love that so i'll leave them linked down below and then swinging around to the wall i have for about two weeks now wondered what i should do with this area here and i've decided to extend the leaves all the way across so i've bought two more off ebay and then I've also bought one of those stuffed elephant heads and I'm going to pop that in between maybe in the middle, I'm not sure, maybe more towards the cot but um, I'll show you when it arrives. But I just really didn't know what to do because I've got the leaves there which was kind of like the feature for that area and the shelves so I couldn't really have shelves here and yeah i just i didn't know what was going to work so i've gone with that and we'll see how it looks when it arrives so then next up we have this really gorgeous piece which just arrived this morning and this was sent to me from an account on instagram and she's called made by steph this is what her page looks like and she has handmade pom-pom accessories so yeah i thought that was so adorable and I absolutely love the colours on this. It works really well in this room. So I'm not sure where we're going to hang this yet. But we're going to find a place. Because maybe when the other leaves come, we might put it like on that wall over there behind. Or maybe somewhere in with the leaves or with the shells i'm not sure but, but yeah i just thought that was so adorable and then another thing that was kindly gifted to me are these milestone blocks and the lovely lady actually painted these in the same color as the boys room which i just think is such a nice little touch and these ones came from a company called something pretty so I'll leave them linked down below as well because these are just honestly so gorgeous. I love little handmade things like this and I'm going to pop these in my hospital bag as well and they can come with us and then they'll be perfect for their milestone photos. I have also been putting together my little um, nappy caddy which I've shared on one of my baby hauls I think and this week I actually bought two little changer mats so I've got one in this one and one in my upstairs one but I'm just popping a few bits in here and getting that ready as well and then I have my breast pump here which was kindly gifted to me. This is from Lansano and it is the compact single electric breast pump. So thank you so much for sending me that. I'm actually working with them over on Instagram for that one. And you do get a breastfeeding pillow with that one as well. But I'm going to leave the details down below for this one because they do actually have a discount at the moment. I think it's till the 30th of April. So in case you don't have one yet and... Um, you were looking at getting one and then i just have my cloud here and then a bunch of blankets and towels and then this i found upstairs and that's gonna be in his bedroom that's just one of those little seats that was from tk Maxx, so that is really cute obviously before we were not allowed out because i haven't been anywhere in six weeks today <laughs> but yeah that's just a few things in the baby room that I wanted to show you and I think we're either now going to put together the baby seat or the baby's cot. So this is the little chair that my mum and dad got for us and we're just about to put it together. We actually got this off eBay but when it arrived it was in a mother care box so I'm guessing that whoever was selling this on there... Um, has quite a few of them because they're like a proper listing so um, I'll leave it down below if I can find it but yeah we're just going to put it together now Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights 
not surreal. It's not going to seem real if he's here, really. I know. Me and Will were just saying that when you get things out like this, you're like, we're actually having a baby. <laughs> it's actually real. It's actually happening. <laughs> Uh, how do you feel babe i'm really excited really excited yeah. i can't wait to just see him in there every single day that goes i past. know so this is the little seat complete and it has um a vibrating setting and music and you can tilt it so it can lay back but i just think this is so adorable and it's really soft, soft isn't it's it baby heaven. such a nice um color as well and then obviously you take that bit out when they're bigger, but yeah, that is so nice. I love that so much. So thanks to my mum and dad for getting that for us. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. So we are now upstairs and we've just unpacked the snooze pod and we're just figuring out what bits go where <laughs> oh yeah there's another one of them over there we're just trying to figure it all out but um i absolutely love the color i went for haze gray and this snooze pod was also kindly gifted to me i'm working with them over on my instagram very lucky mummy and daddy yes <laughs> I'm very lucky baby because I'm sure he is absolutely <laughs> going to love, oh, and I'm hoping he's going to love sleeping in here. Trust me, you're all, right. all, all babies love sleeping, <laughs> so he'll be blessed. What babies do you know, Will? <laughs> babies love sleeping. They love sleeping, they sleep all the time. Yeah, they sleep in the day, not in the night. So yeah, we're just going to put this together now and then um, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. <laughs> Sorry. Excuse Will Excuse sneezing. Excuse me, I've got this bad hay fever right now, so I'm crying. <laughs> It's not the fact that, you know, I'm upset, it's just I've got a bad idea. <laughs> You're not upset. No. Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high so the snooze pod is all ready. I've just placed it here because I have to um, get out in the night about three times to go for a wee. So um, I'm going to keep it here until he's here and then I'll pop it next to my bed. But how gorgeous does this look? The little snooze cloud, which is so adorable as well. And that lights up and plays music as well. And I've also got some sheets to go in here. But I just need to wash them and then I'll put that in. But yeah, look how lovely this uh, is. Baby, you're on the way. <laughs> so that's another job done. I've just popped the little snooze cloud on to test it out. And that one is the little baby's heartbeat. And then what else do we have? Little lullaby. I just like to see that one. And this side is the lights. So you've got your two little lights there. And then a little middle light as well. How adorable though. And then I also have the baby's little night sensory light, which is so adorable. And I honestly, I just feel like crying here right now with that little music playing and like just seeing this all come together. I just can't wait for him to be here. But yeah, I got this off eBay. I'll leave it linked down below as well. And that will sit on my bedside table. So I'm just going to get that out now um, so I can pop the box away. And then, yeah, we're all set up on the bedside. So I've just come back downstairs now and I'm so happy that everything is getting done and like everything looks so cute. I think I'm actually going to decide to hang this just there by the window so I'm going to get Will to pop that up but um, I have just brought down my other changing bag because I thought I could just fill these up and then pop them where they need to go so I'm going to keep some nappies in here a little changing mat 
I've got some wipes and some nappy sacks, but I thought I'd probably put like a spare vest and stuff in here because um, you never know when they're going to do what they're going to do. But um, I think that might be handy. And I'm also going to pick the bits for the baby to go in my hospital bag. So this is the baby's little wardrobe. I'm still getting around to getting some bits. I've just ordered a new linen basket because this one is all broken around the side there. Um, I need to get some more boxes. I'm actually just going to get some plain ones because they don't do this style in home base anymore. And then I can pop them nappies away and stuff. And then in here I have my dividers. So I'm just going to pick out a few bits now for hospital. In here, a little outfit to come home in, some vests and sleep suits and stuff. Oh, I'm so excited. And there's all the sleep suits. So yeah, let me get started. And the sky is falling down. So I've picked out a few little bits that I'm going to take with me. So I'll start over here. So we have this absolutely gorgeous Peter Rabbit like onesie and it has the cutest little ears on but i thought i'm gonna take this because depending on what time we come home it could be during the day it could be at night if it is at night he'll probably be in a sleep suit so then i'll just pop this on over the top but if we come home in the day then i want to have him in a little outfit so i've picked out this little knitted number which is so cute and i thought he could just wear that with a plain white vest underneath so i've got that and then i've just got him some little gray socks to go with it and then i've got a pack of three these were white vests so i'll take them because one of them i want to go under this outfit and then i thought the other ones depending on how hot it is in hospital they will just go under his sleep suits and then i've chosen three different sleep suits because you don't know how long you're going to be there and i just want to have enough so we have this gorgeous one which is another peter rabbit little number and it's so sweet so i love that that was my first choice and then i have this one which is born in 2020 and then i just have a plain one in case one of them gets ruined or he poops all over it you never know <laughs> so um that is my little selection of outfits and sleep suits and stuff for him so that'll go in my bag and then i also just thought i might pop these in as well because this goes really lovely with these and my mum got him them and I think he'll look so adorable so I also got them. I then have three different muslins here and these are the larger ones because I thought I could take some pictures of him and they look really nice wrapped up in these as well but obviously I'll be using them for breastfeeding so I've picked like a light grey, a dark grey and a white. And then I have my blanket. So I'm actually going to keep the blanket in the car because that's not going to fit in my hospital bag. I'll keep it in his car seat until um, we need it. And this will be coming into the hospital with us because this is his little snuggle and it's a little elephant. I think I got this in Asda. It was like £4, but it's so adorable. So that will also be coming in the bag. I've also got nappies upstairs already in the bag. But I've got a whole selection of them there. I feel like I'm missing so much. I feel like I don't have enough stuff here and I can't remember like what I even need. But I'm going to look at a baby list on um, Pinterest or something and see what else I may need. So yeah, that is what I've got so far to go in my bag. But that is everything for this video. I really hope that you've enjoyed it. It has been a bit of a baby binge, but I'm just honestly so excited. Like I just cannot wait to meet him and just start life with the five of us. It's gonna be so amazing. Honestly, I just cannot wait. So yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new around here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.